leader to control? Control here. Stand up for me, Russo. Clear sailing. It's an awfully lonely little corner of the galaxy. Wish you were here beside me. In your dreams, Green Leader. Let's have trouble with these backwaters lately, so don't let this space dust move you. Let's do it. Green Leader, we're reading something out there. Sector 9. Ghosts in the machine control, but I'm checking here. No, nada, nothing. You let your imagination run wild. What the hell? Control Russo's off my scope, moving in. Green 2, something is definitely out there. I got nothing. Russo? It can't be. You're all mine. Can't shake him, he's got lock. He's got lock. Ah! 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 Dragon Leader. Goodbye. To unknown contact. This is an unarmed Confederation medical transport evacuating civilian refugees. We will heave to and prepare to be boarded. You must break off your attack. The border worlds take no prisoners. Mayday! This is a one Amadeus! Destination Radar! Border worlds have destroyed our escort! Mayday! Mayday! This is an extreme emergency! Fighting the flash pack. Call that a successful test? Let's go. Come to order. You'll shortly have an opportunity to voice your opinions of the recent horrific occurrences that have taken place near the border worlds. But before we do that, I thought it fit to invite the commander of the Strategic Readiness Agency to address the House, Admiral Tolwyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen of the Great Confederation Assembly, as commander of the SRA, I'm charged with many duties. Foremost of these is the protection of the frontiers of our galaxy. Unfortunately, I stand before you today with very few answers. What do you mean, few The answers? random acts of violence taking place in the border world still remain a mystery. It's renegade pirates, I tell you. No, it's worse. The border world's militia is behind it. Let me remind you that during the long war with the Kilrathi, the border worlds were a loyal ally. Now they attack us. Let us not allow lust for revenge to cloud our thinking. We mustn't forget who our friends are. However, we must also keep in mind that during the war, certain social and political changes were taking place along the frontier. Now, 
Whether or not these changes relate to the senseless acts of terrorism remains to be seen. But see to it, I will. I can promise you that. Yes. Yes. Admiral, you are aware that the increase in these incidents has raised the tension between us and the border worlds to a dangerous level. But before this august body gets itself to a grave and irrevocable action, I have asked the Admiral to investigate and report back to us in two weeks. Admiral! We go with the blessing of this assembly and of every peace-loving person in the galaxy. In two weeks, we shall vote on war or peace. This concludes our live triumphal moment address to the Great Assembly. Barbara. Thanks, Bob. These next two weeks will tell if we have any hope of resolving the tensions that are growing at the very fringes of our society. Good evening. This has been the TCN Nightly News. I'm Barbara Mar. Give me a house kitchen. Haven't served one of those since the war ended. Hey, pal. Spare the price of a drink for an old vet. You were a flyer? Oh, uh, yeah. I flew off the TCS Liberty. Straighten him out. Help him out. Oh. Do me a favor. Why don't you get out of here and get yourself a meal instead? Hey, thanks, pal. I'll do that. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Things just ain't the same since the war ended. You got a lot of guys coming home and just not enough jobs to go around. Yeah, well, we all make our own way. You a vet? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, I've seen your picture before. Um, hold on. You're... Thanks for the drink. Wait, honey, what, what, honey, what? I'm not waiting. Don't call me honey. These kids are all the same. <laughs> I guess women out here on the edge of nowhere can't appreciate a civilized man. Sure they do. When they meet one. Good to see you too, Colonel. Or, or should I say farmer, Lair. Glad you could fit me into your busy schedule. It's a peaceful life. Hmm? I've always said you're either an earthworm or an eagle. So what, you must have been flying since the last since time Since you saw got you. lucky on that bombing run on Kilra? Yeah, of course I'm still flying. What else is there? Tromping around in fertilizer. We know maniac. Maybe tromping around in fertilizer is what I want to do. Maybe after putting my life on the line day after day for all those years, hearing the crunch my feet make on real dirt is what I want. Well, it sounds like you memorized that speech. Good for you. as I ask. Nothing more. Anybody gonna stop this? Not my problem. Maybe you should go over and tell him who's boss, Colonel War Hero. This pisses me off. This is the way you treat all your friends? You just remember you're not my friend. Oh, that's obvious. You're lucky I don't kill you right now. Let him go. I don't see where this is your concern, mister. I'm going to make it my concern. <laughs> you're going to wish you never met me. I already do. <laughs> I 
Personally, I can't wait until we meet again. Of course, I would have backed you up if you tried anything. Oh, you see, is he gone? Come on! Come on, pal! So what was the important matter you wanted to discuss? Oh. <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonel Christopher Blair, Confederation Space Force Reserves. It's my duty to inform you, you are being recalled to active military service. <clears throat> Haven't you heard, maniac? The war is over. They sent me here to get you. Who sent you? Who said that? How should I know? Somebody high up. They don't tell majors everything, you know. And you think with all the years I put in of service, well, I'll never understand Confed command decisions anyway. I mean, why they put an aging earthworm back in the cockpit, why I'm not a colonel, you know, just because a guy gets lucky on one mission, happens to vanquish an enemy we've been fighting for eons. When do we leave? Leave. Oh, I, I arranged for a couple fighters. They're, they're waiting in the port. Let's go. Let's go. Think you can remember how to get this baby off the ground? Huh? Oh. <laughs> nice liftoff. Uh, for a dinosaur. <laughs> Been a few eons since you held a flight stick, huh, Colonel? Or, or did you find some sand princess to hold it for you back there? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Maniac. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, but you can't say you haven't missed my sparkling repartee just a little. <laughs>